soldier presentation, I chose a guy named John Chiwak. He was from... Uh, John Chiwak was an Inuit hunter and trapper from cul-de-sac near a town, Rigolet, Newfoundland. According to a family lore, the family name was changed from Chiwak, meaning for um, newly formed ice, to Chiwak. The Canadian Encyclopedia says he was born February or March 1889. John's parents were John and Sarah Chiwak and had two younger siblings, Wilfred and William. Growing up, Sean was taught hunting, fishing, and trapping with his brothers from their father. When John was 12, he left home to work at Hudson's Bay Company, which is a joint stock merchandising company <coughs> in Rigolet. Rigolet. During winter, he was at home hunting and trapping, but during the summer, he worked for the doctor who changed their name, Harry Locke Patton. July 1915, he enrolled for the Newfoundland Rig regiment along with two other Inuit. John was 5 feet 5 inches and 132 pounds. He was sent for training in Rigamans deployed in Ayr, Scotland. July 1916 he arrived on the western front line in France. John was sent to a sea company and was a part of the British Exp Expeditionary Force. <coughs> During his time in war, his superiors recognized his abilities as a sharpshooter and on April 16, 1917, he was promoted to Lance Corporal. A British soldier officer called him the best sniper in the British Army. John was timid, but eventually became friends with his fellow soldiers. He, increasing, he increasingly became depressed as he witnessed daily slaughter and his final months became more depressed from the loss of a close friend. Captain R. H. Tate provided a the following details of John Chirac's death in a letter written on February, February 12, 1918. As I present on the morning of 1912, the 21st, November the 21st, when the above NACO was killed, we had taken part of the village Manchia in the attack on the 20th and remained in our consolidated positions on that night. The next day, we were ordered to take up a position on the other end of the village and act as counter-attacking battalion if required. We assembled the security and having forming up proceeded along with a kind of bank toward up on, or towards another sugar factory where Battalion HQ was to be located. The enemy at the time were shelling the bank and one shell burst right in, in the middle of our column and killed seven, amongst whom was um, Lance Corporal Schwab and wounded about ten others. Schwab was buried that afternoon in the village of Manchian and close to the spot where he fell. His loss was clearly felt by the whole regiment, as he was a great favorite for all ranks, an excellent scout and observer, and roughly good and reliable fellow in every way. Chiwak will long be remembered by who all who knew him. He was buried where he was killed, but since the war had to go on there was a lot of shelling and killing in that area so uh, the remains of his graves were not to be found so they put his name up on this stone here and for my reflection i wrote a letter <coughs> john learning traditional skills at a young age is something that will stick with you forever i can imagine you enjoying your time on the land hunting animals, ice fishing, and sealing. The warmth on your heart when you take your first bite of your mother's home-cooked meal from the animal you caught and being able to watch your mother sew as she made you a new pair of gummits, which is boots in my language. <clears throat> I can't begin to imagine how your daily life became like once you arrived at the Western Front, nor will I ever get to know how you felt. But in my honors, I can at least give to you how I feel. 
John, doing my research on you and hearing all these good compliments about you, I already know you are a good man. To have the strength to keep going after losing a good friend is beyond powerful and touching as I am still looking for ways to hold the same strength within me. I have never and will have ever have the chance to meet you, but you are inspiration to keep moving forward towards my life proudly being Enoch. <clears throat> and none of what we use IQ principles, which is Inuit Kauyumatikane principles for a positive impact towards one another. And there is one that stood out to me, Kilimakshagnik. Kilimakshagnik means skills and knowledge acquisition. I will forever believe within your daily life at home and in the battlefield you strongly embodied Kilimakshagnik with love, Christian.